And a new dawn for Hull City continues in what has been an exciting week for the football club. Quick run through of the teams before our pre-match proceedings ahead of kick-off. Hull City go with an unchanged starting 11 and bench, as you would expect after beating Blackburn. So it's Baxter in goal, Bernard, McLaughlin and Greaves as the three centre-backs. Williams, Smallwood, Doherty, Longman and Honeyman in the midfield. Eves and Keane Lewis Potter are up top. The bench for the Tigers is Matt Ingram, George Moncur, Brandon Fleming, Tyler Smith, Tom Huddleston, Festus Arthur and Callum Jones. Jogging forwards, Christian Lowe, very wide, the pair of them. Billing trying to get in between Bernard and McLaughlin. Solanke holding station in the centre. Billing picks up the ball now, worked wide by Marcondes to Stacey with a quick incisive pass. Stacey will lay it off for Christie into the penalty area, right hand side. Cross comes in, Solanke's header goes wide of the target. Looking down at Scott Parker, he just turns his back and has a little frown on his face as Bournemouth pieced it together so well. Lovely flirted ball, Solanke just got away from Bernard. But a man who's so in form should really be doing better, should be hitting the target as Solanke's glancing header goes to the left of the goal. A heavy press from Bournemouth, Greaves is able to get the ball away and Keane Lewis Potter's touch finds Honeyman in the centre circle. Couldn't bring it down as smartly as he would have wanted to. As Bournemouth win the ball back, it's with Stacey looking to thread it through to Solanke. Big touch around McLaughlin. Ball towards the six-yard box. It's Marcondes who has a short goal. Baxter gets in the way. A big blue wall for him. The pressure still on as the ball falls to Marcondes again. Blocked by the Tigers. Hull City gathering themselves, but Bournemouth still knocking on the door. Greaves will try and clear. That's come off a Bournemouth man, but it's going to be a Bournemouth throw-in. Greaves not happy, but Bournemouth starting to really turn that screw. Solanke this time wanted to be the provider for Philip Billing for his ninth goal of the season. He took the shot on, well blocked, but Marcondes' chance was well saved. Now Hull City can pressurise themselves, but Travers gets it away pretty easily. Greaves plucks it out of the air nicely with a touch onto his right foot. The ball was loose and Honeyman couldn't get it wide to Longman. Hull City need to backtrack, get in position as Bournemouth come again into the final third. Ball worked wide by Davies, he cuts it back, searching for Billing into the penalty area. Marcondes with the touch and this time it's the post that denies Bournemouth. They're getting closer and closer with every shot. Christie flicks it through, Marcondes again, ball low, finds Billing, Solanke, what a save from Baxter. Longman keeps it in on the byline as well. Hull City can bring this ball away, but the barrage is building from Bournemouth. But Bournemouth are now really knocking on the door with everything they've got. Davis cutting the ball back to Billing. He then tried to square it inside to Marcondes, who took a first-time shot on. Had no time to control it. He had men around him as well. And then the even stronger chance for Bournemouth when it was fed into Solanke, eight yards out, took it on, Baxter striding across and diving to his right-hand side to push it away. Back five getting out of the penalty area as Bournemouth have it just beyond the centre circle with Mepham over to Stacey, he's having a good game so far, into Christie who has linked up nicely in those wide areas to create these little low crosses which are barraging Hull City. They'll take the shot on from far out this time. It was Davis fancying his chances from a good 25 yards. The shot rose higher and higher over the top of the crossbar. As Bournemouth try and spray the ball wide into Jamal Lowe. McLaughlin is certainly hobbling. He's got a problem. As Bournemouth on the edge of the area. Philip Billing into Davis. Lifts the ball into the area. Headed by Solanke. Goes wide of the target. They appeal for a corner. Philip Billing thinks that somebody in black and amber or even the goalkeeper got a touch but Bournemouth again working it wide it's a good header by Solanke and he's asking the question of whether Baxter got a glove to it as it dropped wide of the target McLaughlin he's going to head back to Baxter who comes out of his penalty area to take a touch he's going to work it over to Richie Smallwood on the near touch line it will go back to McLaughlin the pressure building though because Solanke and Christie are on the move McLaughlin to Smallwood, then Greaves kicks it out of play. Doherty not alert to the action that time, couldn't get there. Throwing taken by Bournemouth, Greaves makes up for his loose pass. 
nips into intercept. Doherty then bumps into Lerma. Then it's Philip Billing in the centre. Now to Marcondes. Solanke. Christie wanting to enter the penalty area. A little touch away. Marcondes scrambling defence. Solanke's shot goes over the crossbar. Chance after chance coming for the home team. And all about that little intricate, neat, fast passing. Once again, Marcondes trying to play the ball across to Jamal Lowe. Took a deflection off Bernard. And Solanke was not just the creator, he was almost the finisher. Bernard doing enough to get in the way. And Solanke continues to be denied. Greaves finds Eves. And they lose the ball, the Tigers in the centre circle. Reclaimed by Smallwood and now Hulsty actually find a way down the left hand side Keen Lewis Potter with Longman running alongside him chance to cross into the box perhaps Longman will now take it towards the penalty he's gone for it himself and it's forced to save from the keeper there's a man down in red and black inside the penalty area Smallwood's going to take the shot on Hull City no intention of stopping and that's met by boos from the Hull City crowd as Cahill who's come on for Chris Meppham now finds himself on the floor requiring physio treatment but Longman stepping to the edge of the area and taking the shot on pushed away by the keeper and Ryan Longman registering Hull City's first chance of the afternoon Baxter taking the ball out of the penalty area and going for the route one and Eves has flicked it on very nicely into Keen Lewis Potter's path takes the shot on can't keep it down and uh, after waiting 44 minutes in the first half for a chance, the second minute of the 45 following on, Keen Lewis Potter takes the shot on but hits it with too much power, not enough direction, being serenaded by the uh, Hull City fans. We'll get another chance here as Bournemouth give possession away far too cheaply. Keen Lewis Potter, edge of the box, takes the shot on, pushed away by Mark Travis. And Hull City after 90 seconds of the second half have already conjured up two opportunities one more than the first Keen Lewis Potter turned away from Lerma not once but twice going close McLaughlin he will head the ball down on the halfway line Honeyman to Doherty lots more urgency of Hull City's play Keen Lewis Potter tees up Tom Eaves oh what a shot from 20 yards it's pushed behind by Mark Travers who very aggressively comes out to the edge of his penalty area and lambasts the Bournemouth defence with a torrent of abuse and criticism. Keen Lewis Potter into Eves, allowed to turn, take the shot on from 20 yards. The keeper makes a very smart save, tipping it away, but it wasn't anywhere near a corner from Tom Eves. Anthony, left-hand side. Williams just stands his ground, ball into the penalty area, Solanke gets a touch, ball breaks to the Tigers and Doherty on the edge of the area will bring the ball away, but it's well recovered by Anthony, 20 yards out, may fancy the shot, goes across instead to Ryan Christie, overlapping man in Stacey, ball into the area, pushed out by Baxter in the six-yard box and Hull City sweep it away, Honeyman takes it over to that far left-hand side, Doherty gets a little trip, Longman recovers, tries to clear it away, didn't get any height on the ball so it's still in and around Hull City's final third. Philip Billing trying to turn on the edge of the area, strong challenge comes in from Jacob Greaves but Bournemouth fans sense an opportunity arising. Marcondes right hand side into the penalty area, swerving cross, pushed out again by Baxter. Christie inside the box on the left, trying to work an angle to get the shot away. Smallwood though won't let him and he clears to safety. Tom Eves on halfway now. Bournemouth scampering back to get under him. Get under the ball. Tom Eves does his job hold it, holding it up. And it will now be a Hull City throw in. And that little wave of pressure, which was a lot more apparent in the first half, just came to life again in the second. Hull City are going to make a change in a moment by the looks of things. And I think potentially Tom Huddleston is now getting ready to come on, having a little look down at the technical area in the dugout. Just taking a sip of water at the moment. And Tyler Smith has now been summoned. There's certainly something going on, on the, uh, in the dugout for the Tigers. Plotting their options. As Hull City lift the ball into the penalty area with the header of Eves. 
Longman on the left-hand side in front of the Hull City faithful. Eves battling away with three in red and black around him, but he's lost out from being outnumbered. Honeyman, Doherty collide into one another, but Honeyman has managed to push the ball past Stacey into Eves on the left-hand side. Longman in the penalty area. He's trying to work the angle to take the shot on! And Ryan Longman scores for Hull City! It is pandemonium in the away end and Ryan Longman has plucked out a beauty again. Against the run of play for the majority of this match. But Hull City won it back. Eves to Longman. Took his time, took his moment and put it in the top bin. Eves presented the ball to Longman inside the penalty area and Longman did the rest he smashed it into the corner Travis had absolutely no chance and Ryan Longman might have messed up his celebration slightly but he did not mess up the opportunity which puts Hull City in front with 12 and a half minutes to go up to the head of Philip Billing Christie on the right hand side gets chopped by Fleming but he got a piece of the ball according to the referee and Fleming will now dart the ball over to Tyler Smith who's in all sorts of room 25 yards out from goal takes the shot on oh it went wide of the goal Travis got a touch to it and I think I don't think he meant to just turn it around the post in that fashion that was almost a, pr a priceless mistake pushed the ball around his near post concentration beginning to dwindle